Hello everyone, Mcon here, bringing you another episode of our Dragon Age Origins DLC. We're playing through the Awakening campaign, and we're about to head out, uh, set off on some new adventures. Yes. Bringing with us Sigrun, Ogren, and Anders, yes. of course. Uh, so, where to next? We've taken care of the Knotwood Hills. Uh, I'm thinking that we'll check one of the other main areas, uh, take a look around there. And I haven't decided which one yet, but we will definitely check out one of them. Oh, hey! Walls are looking pretty nice. It's daylight out, too. That's kind of cool. Well done, Voldrick. Rebuilding is going along very nicely. Hey, what's over here? I don't think we've explored this bit of the keep. That's cool. Yeah, we definitely have, not if there's loot around here. Very nice. All right. Hello, kitten. Hungry little fella. Let's take the cat with us. I don't know what we're going to do with a cat. Maybe we can give it to Anders. Oh, is it a gift? It is a gift. We can give it to Anders. Aw. Hey, hello, Alec. May God bless you, Commander. I'll be the best soldier you ever had. That's cool. Alec came and joined the uh, the area after I pardoned him for stealing. It's really neat. All right. How about over in this end? This is cool. I don't think I've been back here before. I don't think I <laughs> just bothered exploring the area in the last time I played through Awakening. Novice Silverite Rune. All right. Good. Okay, well then, let's uh, let's give Anders his cat, his well-deserved cat. Uh, Sigrun, Ogren, Anders, kitten. Oh, look at the cute little kitty. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Wiggums. <laughs> oh, but I don't know if I should keep him. We got into some dangerous scraps. Well, he can stay at the keep then. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce a lot. <laughs> you can stay in my pack, just for a little while, yes? That's awesome. Codex updated. Anders. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the Warden Commander gave Anders a kitten as a gift. Anders stowed the kitten, Sir Pounce a lot, in the folds of his robe. <laughs> Items received. Sir Pouncelot. This item has unique power. Oh, interesting. Let's use our kitty. Are you hungry, Sir Pouncelot? I have some dried mackerel you could nibble on. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Who's the pretty kitty? Aww. That's... Great. <laughs> and just has his own little kitty. Oh, how, how's he? Uh, how's his opinion towards me now? Very nice. Uh, before we do continue out into the wide world, actually, I forgot. I want to go back inside the keep because that seems to be what triggers your inner party dialogues. I want to see if I've got any more of these going in and out. Okay, looks like looks like we hit them all for the moment then. Uh, as I was saying, Sigrun, Ogren, uh, Anders. Yes. We got the uh, the three dwarves and the sassy mage. All right. Yeah, women are drawn to you when you play with that cat. Like moths to a flame. Women like it when men show affection for small, fuzzy, defenseless beings like you. <laughs> yeah, stupid mage. Every time I pull something out of my robes, the women just flee. <laughs> uh, all right, say. guys. We've taken care of Forlorn Cove and the Chernobyl Estate. We've been down to the Knotwood Hills. We can't go back to Cal Harol. Oh. Uh, checked out Amaranthine. So that leaves the Wending Wood and the Black Marsh. And personally, I am a fan of the Wending Woods first. There are people to meet there. 
Let's go check it out. Bandits? They look very roguish. Something large and powerful came through here. Large, powerful, and angry. Hmm. Well, it's not Ogryn because you said large. Alright. Shimmering shield. Arcane shield. And on top of that, let's add frost weapons. Alright. And Sigrun. You need momentum. Which is back here. Ogren, you need. Nope, nope. Not powerful swings. No. Indomitable? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Indomitable. Indominal? That thing. Alright, fine silks. Oh, sure, why not? Deep mushroom. What's this quest updated? Okay, search for lost silks in the Wending Wood. A caravan carrying silks was lost in the Wending Wood. Desperate tailor has promised a reward if they are found. That must have been one of the uh, Merchant Guild quests. Yeah! Hello! As you say, nice you to meet you. Pack up and get moving. <laughs> what, why does it not do... Mm. Come on. Scattershot. Oh, these guys. There we go. Alright. You are next. He stunned me. That is rude. Okay, you in the bat. You up top here. Y'all seem to have a little bit of damage on him. Okay, this guy. And finally, the scavenger up here. Not bad. Ooh. Two sovereigns, almost two and a half. You guys were making out like bandits. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Shall be done. Deep mushroom. Ooh, lots of crates. Good. Supplies. Fine silks. Excellent. All right. Oop. Rash vine. Thank you. That's a nice little overlook of uh, where we came through. Can't get that way anymore. Okay. Then we continue. Okay, nothing there. We'll go along the path. Boring, I know. Uh. Oh, this way. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty big. Charred Sylvan, huh? Okay. Oh, I think we managed to uh, paralyze the Sylvan. Oh, I switched targets. Just take out that scavenger quick. And this one. Alright. Charred Sylvan. Occasionally, demons attempt to escape the Fade by possessing something other than mortal flesh. By corrupting a tree, for instance. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> now we'll read the codex. By corrupting a tree, for instance, a demon avoids the madness that results from possessing a sentient creature. Demon-possessed trees are known as wild sylvans. On rare occasion, demons-possessed trees almost completely destroyed by fire, but that still retain a spark of life. This union often rekindles the fire that first damaged the tree, resulting in a sylvan that burns continuously without being destroyed. Pretty cool. Begun. Guess we'll have to watch out for More a couple of those. Ahead. What? Man, I must be... Oh, okay. That would explain it. Arrow be. of Sling! Oh. Boom. Ah. Ah, can't hit this. But apparently you can entangle me. Okay. Uh, scatter shots. There's lots of things out here that can be stunned. Okay, well, I've had worse. Good. You. 
Ogren's not looking best, but we're doing all right. Oh, there we go. Paralyzed. Well done, Anders. Okay, and this one... I think that's all of them. Tree's getting in the way. I can't see anything. Very well. Injury kit. Scavenger. Oop, more fine silks. That's, what, a third of the way there, then? Thank you. Okay. This was the bandit camp. So we're already done with the bandit camp. The road that we came down. Yeah. Yep, there's another. Critical shot, please. There we go. Not bad. And why can't I hit you? No, oh, look, there's the undead uh, we managed to gather together. Ooh, Anders. No, Ogren? Might be Ogren. Ogren, did you level up? Oh, you did. All right, let's give you uh, strength and constitution. I still don't really have... Uh, I'll give you more stamina. Alright. Champion and Berserker all the way at the top. Palin's Plight. The warrior lashes out with a powerful blow intended to eliminate the weakest opposition. A successful attack automatically kills a target of normal or lesser rank. Inflicts a double, co double crit against an elite target or inflicts regular crit against a boss. I like it. We'll definitely take that. Uh, Ogren, do you have any new tactic slots? You do. If your stamina level is less than 25%, then use Second Wind. There we go. Excellent. And then the two of us, yeah, Sigrun's getting close to level. Good. Oh, you got something for me? Thank you. Okay. Back over in these hills. We didn't loot the bandit camp. More silks. Good. How about this I chest? Axe and scale boots. Bundle of cloth. Uh, Ogren. Aha! Fine silks. Five of nine. Not to be confused with seven of nine. It's a completely different universe. Okay. Continue through these trees. And what are we... I, I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. You! Shall be done. Ha! Ah, they missed. Or else it didn't get through my armor. One or the other. There we go. Easy peasy. Now what? Look there. A cunning trap. Cunning trap. Oh, I see you. Hey, let's put the uh, burst shot right there on you. See how you like that. Nice. Okay. Scavenger, can I hit him from here? I've got decent range. Alright, I want to take care of that tripwire before someone else sets it off. Because we know my party, they'll certainly do it. No respect for traps. Uh-huh. There we go. All right, Malachite. Good. It's a trap. Uh -huh. Look there. A cunning trap. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Oh. Just rob me of my XP. All right. Well, at least we've got this one. And a Blood Lotus to go along with it. That's cool, you know, because in, in the main game, they only really had the Death Root and the uh, Elf Root as the herbs you needed for crafting. I like that they expanded it a bit with Awakening because I've got no clue about Dragon Age 2, but in Inquisition... Uh -oh. Hello! That's inconvenient. In uh, Inquisition, I know that they had you... 
using all kinds of different uh, crafting materials like the blood lotus uh, and the other things, the rash vines and such uh, for potions, for other kind of crafting. So it was really cool. I, I really like Inquisition's crafting system. It seemed like it was it was uh, customizable enough, in-depth enough to be customizable, yet not so uh, not so in-depth that you just felt lost with it. It seemed pretty easy to handle, you know, oh, I need to do this and that, and then 8 out of 9. Alright. You just, you selected what kind of materials you wanted to make the thing with, and then you're good to go. And the different materials and different qualities of them just had different properties. Well, that worked really well. Out of my way! I need to get out of here! What's wrong? Can I help? No! No one can help me! I just need to get out of here! Who's after you? Uh, the elf! She makes the trees come alive. All we wanted was some easy money from the caravans, but... Uh-oh. Make her help me. She's here. Gotta get away. Hmm. I did not expect to see one of the Durgenlin here. Who are you, and what do you want? What did you do to that man? He's terrified. I talked to him, that's all. These caravans belong to the forest now. He wanted to take that which was not his. Have you been the one destroying our caravans, then? After all the Shemlin did to me, to our people, this is justice. They stole my sister, and likely sold her to merchants. I will not rest until I have her back! Consider this a warning. Hmm. Well, okay then. Quest updated. Stop the caravan attacks. An angry elven woman in the Wending Wood says human merchants captured her sister. It's clear she's responsible for the attacks on the caravan. Stop her before she kills again. Enemies approaching! What? Where? Oh, there we are. Now you fall! I think the elf would have taken care of those bandits, but no. Let's get a critical shot on them. Just take a minute. There we go. Hello. How's it going up there, guys? Not bad. Good, good. Anders, you seemed a little stuck there. You weren't doing much. Alright. Thank be done. you. Can't go along this way any. What about down here? These seem like pretty cool uh, ruins. But I can't get through the door. That's a disappointment. I can't tell if... Yes, it is. Let's go back and grab the rash vine, guys! Because why not? Eventually I'm going to craft like a bajillion things all at once and then you'll see who's the who's the uh, the real winner here ooh dark spawn corpse cocoon oh dear cocoon does not sound good no cocoon sounds like a spider speaking of which I haven't really need to summon my spider or my bear or anything for the fights so far uh, this game I guess uh, I guess we're doing all right the way we are for the moment but also, I like having the stamina now. Ooh, that looks cool. I like having the stamina now for my talents. Because I've got some pretty cool ones. That arrow slaying, for instance. Just massive damage. Alright, let's go ahead and... S well, I was about to say let's go ahead and save. But it just did it for me. So, that's interesting. What do we have? We've got... Oh, hello. That's a charred sylvan. Massive damage to you! Or 94 damage. Hello? Would you, would you mind? Thank you. Hey, Sigrin! Good job, girl. Take you out real quick. Huh? Good. 
you still need some attention. Arrow of slaying! Woo! 407 damage. Oh, that's pretty good. I do say so myself. Well done, boys. Well done. No loot. That is a tragedy. Sigron! Uh, let's see. I don't remember if you need more stats for anything. Uh, you've got two talents. Why did we not give you a talent before? Alright, so you need level 28 to get the last one. Blessing of the Ancestors. So we can... Oh, there's the low blow that uh, Twin Strikes dealt with. Okay. Unending Flurry. Interesting. It's a sustained mode. Oh, right, but small amounts of stamina every time you hit. Yeah, uh, not not as... Uh, not as great. Oh, but if the target's bleeding from tw twin strikes, every hit is a critical hit. And if the target's slow by low blow, you can't miss. So it's a good it's a good set of talents when you put it all together. I see. And then duelist or ghost. So ghost brings us to weak points, which means that uh, in striking each target. It looks like it's a sustained mode, but striking every target in that manner increases all damage he suffers for a short time. So that goes along well with Assassin. And then eventually Flicker, which looks pretty cool. Uh, but let's go ahead with Duelist. Uh, bonus to attack. Uh, oh, all these, almost all these are, uh, are activated abilities. It's not as good, but eh, it's okay. Uh, the pinpoint strike, though, that'll be useful for uh, moderate duration. All successful attacks generate crits, so that'll be good. Uh, we'll go ahead with the upset balance, I suppose. And we'll... Uh, wait a minute, we need to go back and give her attributes. I forgot. Uh, Dexterity is going to go up, and... Uh, yeah, another point of strength. Apparently she's using that a lot. And even though we got lethality, which, you know, gives us the con, or not con, the uh, cunning to, to uh, hit and damage, but it's less than our strength, so I guess we're going to keep the strength up anyways. Uh, so, duelist stuff. There we go. Alright, and uh, right here looks like a good place for us to end our session then. So thank you so much, everybody, for coming along, and uh, hey, until next time, bye all.